So first of all, try to update the game. If you see any update, uh, like update button, you can just update it and then check. Now the next step is to try launching the game multiple times. So just click on play multiple times. Now when you launch the game multiple times and if you're receiving this error, multiple crash detected, restore default settings. So if you receive this uh, prompt, then in that case, uh, you can just click on yes and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to restart Steam or Epic Games Launcher. So if you have the game on uh, Steam, you can click on Steam over here and then click on exit. And once you hit exit, now relaunch Steam and then check. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, in that case, uh, you can uh, click on this hidden icon over here. And uh, over here, you, if you see Epic Games Launcher, exit Epic Games Launcher and then relaunch Epic Games Launcher and then you can uh, launch the game. Uh, and then uh, now Epic Games Launcher can also update your Epic Games Launcher. So click on your profile icon and then click on settings over here. And if there is any update, you will see update and restart option over here. So if you see update and restart, just update your Epic Games Launcher and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. And then scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browser apps, and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. And then again, click on add an allowed app, browser apps. Open Oak Game Binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. And once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. You have to add both the exe file. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open Oak Game Binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, in my case, it is already added. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. You have to add both the exe file to your antivirus program as well. Now, the next step is to rename the config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved, uh, saved settings will be lost. Now, for this, you can open File Explorer, go to Documents over here, and then you can click on My Games over here, and open Battle, bot, I'm sorry, Borderlands 4 folder, Save folder. Here you can see Config, make a right click. All the saved settings will be lost, so you can just rename this file. Now, you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can rename the save game files. But before you rename the save game files, create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can go to the same location and then this time go to documents, my games, and then you can copy this Borderlands 4, copy this, and then you can maybe paste to the desktop. Uh, once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this you have to start everything from scratch. So rename this and then uh, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from. Now, when you rename the config folder or save game files, uh, let me inform you, it will recompile the setters. Now, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, instead of launching the game from Steam, you can make a right click the game, manage browse local files, and then you can make a double click, launch the game from here. If this does not work, uh, you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work open oak game binaries win64 again make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click on the game go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time you can go to this over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. 
Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and follow the next step. Epic Games Launcher can go to the same location and do the same thing. I don't have the game on Epic Games Launcher, so you can just click on the Borderlands 4 game and then you can click on Manage and then you can click on this uh, folder icon to go to the game installation folder and then try to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So you can go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on Find. And at the very top, you will see the latest graphic card driver on this page. And not the studio one. Uh, try the GeForce Game Ready driver right now, 581.29. So whichever is the latest, uh, you can download the file. And then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. When you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Set a custom option over here. Click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer. After the system restart, launch the game. AMD card users uh, can go to AMD website, select your graphic card, restart. Uh, First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver. Restart your computer, go to MD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver. Again, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. If the latest graphic card driver is not working, in that case, you can roll back graphics card driver to the previous version. You can try the older version. So when you select your graphic card, you can click on view more version over here and you can maybe try 581.08 or you can even try 580.97. So, but whenever you try the older graphics card driver, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. After the clean installation, make sure that you restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings over here. And then click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game over here, select high performance. You will see your graphic card. Now click on add desktop app once again, open Oak game binaries win64, select the game exe file, click on add. Once it is added, again select high performance over here, you will see your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game. Try power saver mode. Now for this you can type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, go to hardware and sound and then click on power options over here. Now, in my case, I have only balanced, uh, but if you see this power saver, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game. You can even go for balanced or high, high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. But first of all, try power saver and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uh, turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings over here and then click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, then you turn it on and then relaunch the game. If this is already uh, like on, then you can turn it off and then check. So check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to verify the game file. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run Steam or Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. Now if you have, now for Epic Games Launcher, you can click on the Borderland uh, 4 and then you can click on manage and then you can verify the game files and then check if that does not work you can just uh, close epic games launcher make a right click exit and then you can type in epic games launcher and then you can just make a right click and then try to run as administrator and then launch the game if you have the game on steam go to steam exit and then you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then try to run steam as an administrator and then launch the game next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows set box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run this as an administrator and then click on yes to allow copy the first step command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key and then relaunch the game still not working the next way is to try dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab. Over here, you can type in dash DX11. If you have dash DX11, 
uh, sorry you can remove this and then instead you type in dash dx12 so try dash dx12 and then launch the game you have to relaunch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for epic games launcher you can do this by going to settings and then you can go to scroll down at the bottom you will see borderlands 4 you can put a check on additional command line argument type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can remove this uncheck this box follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this x86 and x64 version you have to install both the version so click on it and then you can run this exe file download this x64 file as well and run both the exe file so in my case it's already downloaded so run x86 and x64 so click on it if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow if you see the install button hit install run this x64 file as well if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart you can clear. and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update windows do not ignore this so go to windows update uh, or, or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer after this restart your computer and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now over here under advanced click on the first settings and then go to advanced and then click on change over here uncheck this box over here and select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied total RAM initial size is uh, 1.5 multiply you can try this multiplied total RAM total RAM yeah. and maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM so you can try this if this does not work you can always revert back so select custom size initial size you can check how much how much ram you have you can go to system in windows settings and then click on about over here and then over here you can see 64 bit operating system in my case uh, sorry you have to check the uh, total ram so system and then go to about option and here in my case it's uh, 16 gigabyte so you have to uh, calculate as per your RAM. In my case, it's 16 gigabyte. So first of all, we will convert 16 gigabyte into megabyte. Multiplied 1024, that is in total in megabyte. Multiplied 1.5, multiplied 1.5, that is for initial size. 24576 in my case, as per my RAM. Now, for maximum uh, size, again, 16 multiplied 1024 in megabyte, multiplied 3, that is 49152. 49152 and then you have to click on set set is important and then click on ok apply ok and then you can launch the relaunch the game if that does not work restart your computer and then check again not working in that case type in view advanced system settings once again and then click on first settings over here and then click on advanced change and this time select system manage size and then click on set set is important click on ok ok apply ok apply ok and then restart your computer restart your computer and then launch the game still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings and then click on first settings over here advanced change and put a check over here and then click on ok 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 and then you can restart your computer and then follow the next step next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer sometimes we have extra controller connected disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties sorry so make a right click on the game select properties general turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game if you have 
any other overlay application running like if you have discord running uh, you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running uh, you can open nvidia app and then you can go to nvidia app settings and you can turn off nvidia overlay over here and then you can launch the game if you have any other overlay application close it do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert unit any kind of overclocking application running close it any third party application like obs if you have any third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios and then you can check last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just make a right click manage uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel